Hi babe, welcome back to my channel. My name is T. I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Portacourt. And my last vlog where I just showed you around Portacourt, I stopped at NLNG roundabout. So this video is going to pick up from around there. And this is the roundabout before LNG roundabout. This is Eastern bypass roundabout and i just wanted to start from here and just show you it's a major roundabout, not major but it's it's you know it's interesting <laughs> so guys before we start i want to plead with you to please do not skip all my ads if you find this video helpful at all please leave a thumbs up or just leave a comment for me to know you like it so that i can keep bringing more of potato to you and again for me to benefit and make money from this video you have to watch the adverts that play in the video that is the way youtubers make money so if you're super in a hurry or something and you cannot watch all of them please just don't skip all of them don't skip all and we are approaching nigerian liquefied natural gas um roundabout that is the ellen ng roundabout and when we were coming from the other lane i showed it to you but it was kind of from far since i am on the lane closest to the company you will get to see it a little bit close up so this is where the building starts that's where their gate and security is and it stretches like all the way down <laughs> So I just slowed it down so that you can peep into the company and just see what's just a quick overview of it. And once we are done, there is this body of water close to the company that looks like a creek. <laughs> I don't know what a creek is. I'm not from a riverine area, but it just looks interesting to me and... Okay, this is another gate of the company. We are still passing LNG. LN, no, NLNG, Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas. Oh, yeah, finish. Finish, 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 finish. Okay, this is the water. I like it. I don't know why I looked away from it, but I was looking, but I wasn't showing you guys. <laughs> So if you want to see, I don't know, I passed this route going up here the first time. So I don't have much to say about here. But in this video, I think I am getting better. When I get to a landmark, I will slow the video and zoom in on like the signboard. Or when I get to anything interesting, I will slow down and zoom in so that you can get a better feel of what Potakot Nigeria looks like in June. 2021 so this is today is literally third is it third or second june today is well i'm not sure it's a thursday it's either third or second june and this are uh, convoy no we are at amadia marandabout yeah you can go to higi haga you can go i mean peter Dili, abloma and you know amadia Ma and back to lng so we are going to take this road that goes to abloma i am going to show you the whole of abloma now so once you start going in this is called abloma road of course of course so that other junction leads into down towards peter Dili. so that was where we came from the first realize the part two of my vlog video i cover that area so moving in that is evangelism something crusade so it's obviously a church you can see shops by the roadside everybody is hustling in nigeria we have plenty churches and we still have plenty bad bad things and good good things you know like every other country so this is just abloma road and we are going and going and going and we will soon start reaching the interesting things there is a big 
police station on this road and you are going to see it very soon there is a three-star hotel that has a very nice swimming pool you are going to see it there is a crazy ass market food stuff market that market is cheaper than the one close to me like things are cheaper there than the one close to me so i like the markets but that market is kind of i am going to just close my mouth in terms okay this is the police station and it is called oh my god amadi ama police division amadi ama police division okay i just slowed it down guys every time i see policemen i take this damn camera down because i don't have strength to start speaking english you <laughs> okay we are close to all souls anglican church we are going to pass that and then for the school i slowed down on the school so that you would see the name um I don't understand this is like still in the morning before 11 a.m and covid 19 just changed a lot of things in it changed a lot of things in the school system i guess all over the world but mostly in nigeria especially for government schools where they it's like schooling online is not easy it's not something that will be i don't know many areas don't even have light so so that's the name of the school, State Secondary School, Amadiyama, Ministry of Education. And I guess it's mixed. Yeah, it's mixed, both boys and girls. So, major, like a lot of schools are having to deal with adjusting their timetables and covering their syllables because of the COVID. But for government schools like this, what they did in order to social distance was to share the school hours morning and afternoon and like it's crazy when you see people's going home before 12 a.m like how many hours do they get to spend in school all because we cannot have enough facility to observe social distancing and still teach so they have the morning session and the evening session you go to school for like three hours and like just imagine if i remember my secondary school days what can i learn in three hours before you even settle down in the morning except you have a very crazy teacher that you're scared of that or or a subject you're excited about you just get into the class first thing in the morning and settle in and be in that school mode until evening like we close around 3 p.m from 7 30 7 15 7 30 till 4 p.m but now see it's like 11 okay let me say they are writing the exam so maybe that's why they closed earlier but before 12 usually around 12 they are done like from 8 to 12 and they are supposed to be like break i don't know how it operates and i don't know how they cope but man covid did something to us so i'm telling you we're still recovering from that so that's what access bank uh -huh. access bank i slowed that down what else are we going to see here mm. i used to think i don't talk a lot but i'm beginning to notice that i talk a lot and when i am done talking i start feeling headache um just western union fcmb okay this is the lotus hotel lotus hotel that is a three-star hotel we have passed the center for development have we passed Ugh, i was blabbing but guys you can see we've passed the lotus hotel and okay that's a church that's a city of joy parish that's a redeemed church i guess yes yes that's a redeemed church
Hmm. This market is called Fimie Fimie Market. <laughs> I was trying to just mother the spell it on like the pronunciation until I saw it on Google Maps and it's F I M I E Fimie Market. But a signboard as I a sign post I saw here says differently. It said something like Saada to don't worry, you're going to see it now. But on Google Map and I think actually the market is called Fimie Market. Fimie. I like that name. Fimie. So this is the OBA Academy. You know what guys? Let's stop here and continue the next video from this place. See you there.